Welcome to the Afterspin, opinions from thought leaders in our state. I want to ask Chris Fitzsimon and Becky Gray. Representative Chris Millis from Pender County is calling for the resignation or impeachment of Secretary of State Elaine Marshall because he says Marshall is allowing non-citizens to become notary publics in our state. Marshall counters that the law doesn't say they have to be citizens, only permanent residents, and claims she, this is nothing more than a political stunt. What's your take on this, Becky? Well, Representative Mellis has discovered that after going through thousands of pages of documents that over 300 of these people who are, are not legal residents of North Carolina um, Wait a minute. Are, are the United States citizens? citizens. I'm citizens. sorry, citizens. Okay. Um, and so he's brought this to the attention. The question is all kinds of things. I'm a, I'm a notary public, so I know the yeah. kind of documents that you do notarize. And it's everything from um, absentee ballots to automobile titles Vitals. to mortgage documents. I mean, you know, all kinds of things. And so I think there's a real question there. I think that Representative Mills has raised an important issue. I think it's one that needs to be looked at carefully. And I, I'm disappointed with Elaine Marshall's response to this. It seems to me that if something were identified in your department that was questionable, that rather than just, you know, sort well, of throwing out political To your knowledge, has Mills gone to her and sat down with her and, and well, talked with her? Well, she has responded. Right. I mean, she this responded is in the, after, he, right. after yeah. he said he well, wanted to resign well, here's, the, here's the thing about this. First of all, they are legal residents, which is technically what the law is. So at, at the best, at the most generous, this is a debatable question about whether or not these people should be notaries. One reason why Elaine Marshall might not have responded in an appropriate way is Representative Millis didn't say, we should talk about this, I want legislation to change it. He said, you should resign or you're going to be impeached. Well, that's certainly a way to build cooperation and have a good conversation about something. That was one of the more outrageous things I've ever seen. He thinks there's an issue. He has legislation he thinks will fix it. Fine. We might disagree with it. But for goodness sakes, you're having, the first time you talk to her, you're having a press conference saying she better resign or I'm gonna, I want to impeach her? That's, what it's, it's a, that's a, like a Trumpish move. And I think it's outrageous that, uh, that a sitting member of the General Assembly would, in a questionable call one way or the other, would call for a member of the Council of State to be impeached. Well, and, and anybody that's ever dealt with Elaine Marshall before knows she's a pretty straight arrow kind of person. And, and uh, she, she knows the law and she interprets the law. She says that she's gotten permission for, uh, even though they may be illegal immigrants, uh, the mm -hmm. fact that they're residents, she's gotten permission from Homeland Security to be able to allow them to have notary public licenses. What do you think of that? If, I think this is worth looking at, and I think that there are questions here that need to be answered. And, and you know, Chris Mellis is in the legislature. I think he's within his rights to, to pose these questions. You know, Chris, you know, pose the really, questions, yes. Right. Demand he could have handled, he could have handled it a little bit more diplomatically. I, I will agree with that. I got to say, but I think he's it's something. I think, I think it's a legitimate concern, a legitimate thing to bring to the attention, something that should be looked at. Again, perhaps it could have been handled a little more diplomatically. I, I, I think it could have been scaled down quite a bit in a face-to-face -face meeting, uh, possibly could have led to some discussion and, and possibly some changes. But I, that was pretty bombastic to call for resignation right. or, or, or impeachment. Well, thank you for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.